In this video, I'm going to show you how to go in and take a set of test questions, create a pool for those test questions, and then create a test randomly selecting questions from that pool. Okay, so what you want to do is get into the course and go into the course tools and go down and select tools or test surveys and pools. And we're going to go in and create a, a test pool. Now to build a test pool is almost identical to building a test. We're going to go into build pool and I'm going to call this one example test questions and at this point I'm just that's all I need to do is give it a name and it will look just like the test would be and I'm going to go in and create and then I can select what type of test question I want to create. Okay, so you would go in and fill those in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to a pool that I've already created some test questions. So I'm going to go into these PowerPoint questions and I'm going to edit my pool. And you can see that I've actually gone in and I've created a pool of six multiple choice and five true false questions. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and build a random test that will pull from this pool and in this case I'm actually going to build two separate pools that it's going to pull from here. It's going to pull from multiple choice and it's also going to pull from the true false as separate groups of questions. So what I want to do is go back to test surveys and pools and I can either do it at the top here um, to go back through the breadcrumbs or I can com come back down in the menu and click on test surveys and I'm going to go into the test option and I'm going to build a test and I'm going to call this PowerPoint final exam Okay, so I've given them directions and then submit. Okay, now it automatically puts me into the test canvas for this final exam. Now what I'm going to do is I don't want to build actual questions. I actually want to pull from the pool. So I'm going to do reuse um, question and we're going to create random blocks. And you can actually go in and pull from several of your existing tests in your course. So you could actually go in and pull from, um, like maybe you have five quizzes, you could pull from those five quizzes and randomly select questions out of those five quizzes. Now in this case, I actually am going to randomly select um, questions from my PowerPoint question pool that I set up. And my first random selection is going to be from the set of multiple choice questions. So it shows me what questions I have from multiple choice. And I'm going to submit this. Let me move this over. Okay, so now it's showing me that it's linked to a random set of questions. It wants to know right now how many, um, it's got a total of six questions in there and I want to change the number of questions I'm going to pull from that pool to three. So it's going to randomize the six, from the six different questions that are in there. So I'm going to submit that. Then I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to create another random lock. And again I'm going to pull from my PowerPoint questions but this time I'm going to pull the true false questions in and I can see those five true false questions so I'm going to submit that and I would like this one to grab also three out of those five questions and submit that now I also should have what each question is worth let's say it's three points each Oop. fix that three there and submit and I want all the questions to be worth three points 
and I'm gonna okay that. Actually, let me update. Okay. I have to go up and select these and then update for the three points for each question. And then hit OK. Alright, now I actually have a um, student open in another window here. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to deploy it. So I gotta go back into learning modules. Now you would navigate to where you want the test to be. I'm just gonna put it in the bottom of this folder here. So I'm gonna go into um, assessment test and I'm gonna grab the PowerPoint final exam and submit it. And I can go in and put a description in again. And again, do I want to go in and open it in a new window? Uh, do I want to show instructions to the test before students go in? Yes. Do I want to make it available? Yes. Now this is where if you're going to allow them to take the test multiple times, you can do this because they're going to get different questions each time. Obviously the more questions you have in the pool, the more options they're going to have to be able to go through the test. Um, I'm just going to allow it as unlimited attempts. All right, I can force the completion after a certain period of time, uh, put on due dates, put a password in. I can go in and set some um, exemptions for um, oh, um, special needs students. I set up a due date. If I set up a due date, it will automatically go in the calendar. Um, I can choose whether the scores are going to go into the Grade Center or not. I can select what they're going to see when they get done. So at this point they're going to see their score. Do I want all the test questions to be all at once, which I'm going to because they're all going to be randomized anyway. And I'm going to submit this. Okay, so this final exam is at the very bottom of my um, learning modules. So I'm going to move that over. Now I'm going to come in as a student into learning modules and scroll all the way down the bottom and you'll see the final exam test that I just deployed in the course. And when students go in to start the test they can see the instructions that I gave them. And I'm going to go ahead and hit begin. Because of the way that I numbered the test questions, you'll actually see the numbers appear as part of the questions themselves. You can see six here, five here, three, and then here's seven for the true false, ten, eight, and so on. So if I go in um, and answer these questions, I just, I'm just selecting some right now. All right, and then I submit and save my answers. Okay, and I can go in and um, and then I will be able to go into the grades to be able to see what my um, grades are in this. Now if I go back in the learning mods and I go back to the test again, because I gave them multiple attempts, if I go back in again, it's going to let me, I can go back and view my attempts or start a new submission. And you're going to notice that it has different questions in different orders in here as to what questions it pulled out of the pool. So they could keep taking this test over and over again as many times as you want them to until they finally get um, the answer or the outcome that you would like to have. So you could set a limit of maybe three attempts you know, it depends on how many test questions you have. If you had a bank of 100 questions, they could take that test uh, multiple times and never see the same questions. So this is how you can go in and pull um, from a pool of test questions and give them multiple attempts of those test questions.